Now, welcome again to a lesson which we are going to deal with the uh, logarithm, laws of logarithm. In the laws of logarithm, we have the three laws. We have the three laws. Okay. So these three laws basically are guidance on how to handle logarithmic equation and logarithmic expressions expressions we don't have equal sign in in short but equations you must have the two sides left and right hand side so when you have log of a plus log of b you can combine them using multiplication of numbers remember multiplication of numbers so the number a and the number b can be multiplied so this is basically an expansion of that. If I have log of A minus log of B, then A and B, those figures are normally divided. And when we have index of a number M, P is index of number M, then it can be dropped down as a coefficient of log M. Note, very important very important in solving all terms must be in the form of log so each term must have the term must have the word log each term if i'm told to solve what else in simplifying if you are given logarithm expression and you are told to simplify if I'm dividing log and log they can only cancel if they are equal okay so I want to show you one example after the other so very important here in red in red very important I will now start telling you how we do it for now, I'll do one example, but the next lesson, I'll do two to show you. Can we focus down a bit? Yes. There we are. Now we are focusing down, okay? I want us to focus down. There. Solve for y. We want to solve for y. We want to get the value of y. What are we given? Log of 3y plus 2 in bracket log 10 minus 1. See 1? I put it in red. Does it click anything in the red I'd written? Yes. Is equal to log that. Remember what did I say when I said you note? 1. Every term must be written in terms of log. So how many terms do we have? One, two, three. The first and the third are in terms of log. Okay? But the, the second one, no. That is what I meant. So always remember. So I come here and write, what is one when I'm dealing with base 10? What is this one? How can I write it? Side work a bit. Log to base 10 of a number I don't know. Let us call it S is 1. I want to replace this 1 by this. Okay? So remember, S is equal to 10 to power 1. Another example, quick one, a quick one. Suppose it was base 2, I would write, I want to write log s, sorry, I want to write log s to base 2, and there was maybe 3, a number 3. Eh? There was a term, just 3, and the expression is in terms of log base 2. So, to replace 3, with log s to base 2. So I want to write in place of 3 this. 
how do you get s so you write 2 to the power 3 is equal to s which is equal to 8 meaning that this 3 is removed i remove 3 by having log 8 base 2 correct so instead of this i shall write that remember that good can we wrap so that we are neat yes now we continue we continue with our work here here so you know how to remove a number and express it in terms of log so we have now to apply we have to apply the laws when there is a subtraction between logarithm we divide the numbers so i have 3y plus 2 sorry plus 2 3y plus 2, 3y plus 2 over 10 is equal to that. The right hand side is already simplified. I have only, I have only one piece of log. The, the left hand side are two pieces. So I have to condense them using the log there. When you reach here, do not cancel the word log. Do not. Do not cancel the word log is not allowed in mathematics we reason that if log of the right hand side is equal to log of the left hand side then the numbers must be equal that's why we drop so this number must equal to this number but we don't cancel the word log because it's part and parcel of that number so we only handle the numbers that this and this must be equal here. Then cross multiply. You get 3y plus 2 is equal to 10y minus 40. Big mistake. People write 10y minus 4. He fails to distribute that 10. So what do you do? This negative 40 comes here to give me 42. 3y goes that side to give me 7y. So y is equal to 6. In conclusion, the laws are very important. Okay? Now, don't forget this. If he gives you left hand side, he wants to see if you remember the right hand side. If I give you the right hand side, I want to see if you remember left hand side. It is just oscillating. If I give you one side, then Mtego express it in the opposite side. Eh? Opposite means the right hand side. If I give you right hand side, then it must be expressed in the form of left hand side. Remember that? You are okay. See you next.